By March of 2022, I'm retired almost a year. And by now, Cottingham was ill. He was bedridden. He'd been transferred to Southwood State Prison, their long-term care unit. So, are they treating you good? This place, I said you're praying to die. That's how bad it is. Yeah. Oh, God. You give me a pull right now, I take it with it. With the... I can't wait like this for the rest of my life. This is literally torture. As he lamented his lot in life to now laying there like a, you know, almost a vegetable. He can only move the upper half of his body right now, and um, he knows that his days are numbered. He asked me to help him commit suicide. How would you like to solve all the cases of Irving County? That's a I'd love to solve all the cases that you are personally responsible for. I'd love, to, yeah, I'd love to solve all cases, and I would like to do and that. If I ask in return, you, you bring me about two or three fentanyl cases. So you can overdose? So I can overdose. I can't assist you in a suicide, no. That's, that's all I'm asking you to do. That'd be a bit too much. That'd be too much. So you'd rather not solve the case. I just know I can't do this forever. There's no doubt in my mind that he would ever seriously try and take his own life. Um, he, Richard, is too concerned about Richard to ever do that. Richard puts himself before everybody else. And even when he so-called tried to commit suicide, those are superficial attempts at him trying to get you to feel sorry for him. On May 22nd, 1980, Cottingham is caught at the Quality Inn Motel in Hasbrook Heights as he tries to flee the scene of raping and attempting to kill Leslie O'Dell. When Cottingham was placed into custody, he was taken to the Hasbrook Heights Police Department. He was placed in his cell. We do a cell check sheet, which usually every 15 minutes, Somebody will look in to see what he was doing, if anything. He was sitting with his back up against the concrete wall, but he had a blanket over him. So I didn't think too much of it. I thought maybe it was, he was cold. But when I went back a couple times later, I just didn't like the way it looked. I asked him to stand up, which he did not. When I saw the blood, I yelled to the desk officer, he's trying to commit suicide. I could see in his right hand, he had a lens from his eyeglasses, which he had broken somehow, and he used the sharp edge to cut his right wrist. Cottingham was put on trial for the three murders in New York and all the rapes of the women in New Jersey. He pled not guilty and took every case to trial. He would not cooperate, would not uh, uh, admit his guilt in any of it. Mr. Cottingham thought somehow that he was gonna beat the rap. I was dead certain it was impossible. And I sat there in disgust knowing what a dope he is. Regardless what witness took the stand, he thought, ain't gonna matter. Who represented you back then? Your brother? Will Scumbag. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, was, was one of the best lawyers back then. Mm -hmm. but I would know his name I had. Conway. Yeah. Donald Conway. He was the most evil person I had ever met. He was just cold, hard, calculating, and thought he was smarter than me, smarter than anybody involved in this proceeding. I could have probably beat everything. 
but they, you know, take it back, who knows? Because by what they did, if you knock one case out, every case, even New York cases, they were all the Jersey cases in New York. They were, did you get tried in New York, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, had a separate trial over there. I had two trials in Jersey. They said the uh, one case, uh, I forget her name, uh, Carr, Mary Ann Carr. Mary Ann Carr. The Marion Carr trial was a non-jury trial. And the judge refused to handcuff Cottingham in any way. During a break in the proceedings, all hell did break loose. When he was taken to the holding cell, he had a jacket that he had been wearing, and he threw it over the head of the sheriff's officer uh, and made a dash for the hallway. I saw the sheriff's office matron running from the judge's chambers, flying across the back of the judge's bench, yelling, he escaped. I immediately went back out the doors, quickly ran down the north stairs. I saw him dashing, and uh, we all started calling out, Cottingham is uh, escaping. We all arrived about the same time on Cottingham and brought him to the ground, handcuffed him. And as he turned and looked up, he said, why didn't you guys just let me go and shoot me? What case is left open in Bergen County that you remember? Well, then how are you telling me you're going to solve all the cases in Bergen and Essex counties if you don't remember them? Well, a couple of things will only bring my memory back. You know, though we had a relationship where one hand washes the other hand. Your, your hands have gotten washed a lot more than mine have. No, 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 no. That's no. that much we know. He was just like, I'm not giving you any confession. Why would I give you a confession? All, all we're doing is bull right now. He literally is asking me in one breath, what are you going to do for me if I continue to talk? He's breaking my balls over the fact that I couldn't bring Dunkin' Donuts in for him because the guards wouldn't let me. And he's telling me about deals he's making with other inmates and staff to try and get a better breakfast. He's the king of all deals. It's all about what are you going to do for me before I do for you.